day, Cougar family. It is the month of March, if you can believe it. Today's March the 1st, and welcome to this edition of Cougar Chat. Um, this month, we have a special guest with us. Uh, some of you may know our new athletic director, Coach Joseph Garcia. Uh, he's been with us since last summer, and I thought it'd be really good this year that we've had a few months with him here at the helm of the athletic department. Uh, I thought we'd hang out in the spirit store today and just visit with him a little bit about what's going on with Cougar athletics here at the school. So, Joseph, thank you for being here. We appreciate Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Thank you and, for having um, me, man. You know, tell us a little bit about, some people know you really well, mm -hmm. but you are new, and we've got parents of littler kids who don't. Just tell us a little bit about your own background and, and then again, kind of how you got here. That's an interesting okay. story, how you got here in the midst of everything going on. So. Okay, well, um, uh, my family and I are from the DFW. Um, I've been coaching now for 17 years. This is my 17th year coaching. Um, I've been in the athletic director or an assistant athletic director role now for seven years. Um, and so I've been married to my wife, my wonderful wife, Gina, for 14 years. Uh, we have four wonderful children. Uh, we have Gabriel, who's in sixth grade here, uh, and he's loving it. Uh, then we have Josiah, who's a third grader. Um, Eliana is a first grader. And uh, Olivia is a two-year-old. Yes. And so uh, I'm sure most of you, if you've been to the games, you've <laughs> seen them running around, especially Josiah. Um, but you know that's that's our family. Um, what got us here? Um, we've always coached in the DFW. Uh, I've always been at tap schools. Um, I I think my wife and I about a couple years ago really felt like God was preparing us for a change, and so we were praying about it, uh, really trying to figure out what that was. Um, and then we were also slowly just applying different positions and being patient and seeing what doors open. And so. Um, this summer we had a, or this past spring we had a several, uh, several opportunities, and so uh, we prayed about it. And of all the opportunities that we had, moving three and a half hours away from family and away from where we're, we've always been, um, to a school in Conroe, which we didn't know <laughs> existed, um, but uh, it just logically did not make sense for our situation. Uh, but for some reason, you know, God kept leading us back to it and so we prayed and prayed and sh struggled with the decision because of the move and uh, with our kids ages and they were already set in their groups and so um, after weeks of prayer and discussion we just finally came together my wife and I and decided you know what this is where God wants us to be this is where we're supposed to be and so we took out uh, or we stepped out a leap of faith and accepted the position and uh, we've just been blessed ever since you know uh, ever since we moved down here we love the people love the school uh, pretty much everything about it, so we're uh, you know we're just blessed by it. So good. Yeah. Well, we're blessed to have you. Yeah. You know, and I will say you know, from our end, you know, we had been praying too, and it was it's just neat to see how God brings people. I wish I could do an interview with every honestly every yeah. staff member here. They could all give you an interesting story about how God brought them here on our campus and is using them. So I appreciate that, Coach. You know, you've been here now a few months, and yes. um, you know, what do you see? You know. In, at Covenant, we're not like every other school, of course, mm -hmm. a Christian school, but um, what do you see as some of the top priorities you want to see instilled in the CCS athletic program? What do you think some of the top priorities are? Here? Um, I think, first and foremost, we want to build a program that, that glorifies and honors God in every way. Um, secondly, I think uh, the athletic program is very important because uh, it trains our, our students. And, uh, you know, for me personally, I believe that athletics there is the greatest microcosm of life. And so we want to make sure that we are preparing our students now for after high school, after athletics, so that way they can be successful in life as well. Um, and so I think athletics has a big part to do with that. Um, you know, uh, going through life's struggles, life's dilemmas, and even successes, we've got to uh, take this opportunity to help train our athletes how to deal with those certain things, those circumstances in life, and react in the right way that's, that's uh, ultimately going to bring glory to God and also make them successful in the long run. And so um, athletics obviously is a big passion of mine. It's, it's helped shape my life and who I am today. And uh, I feel like it's, it could be a big part of, of every athlete's life. And so I, I think it's a big training process um, that, that we're teaching our kids, um, you know, so, to prepare them to be successful after, after high school, after athletics. And so I think they're going through that each and every season, uh, which is, you know, exciting for me. 
um, to see that and then see them go off and then contact me later and say, hey, you know, this is what I'm doing and, you know, um, so, uh, yeah, coaching's a blessing to me, but uh, the athletic program, I think, is, is a bigger thing and, and very huge part of the growth and development of, of our students here, so. Yeah, and I, I would agree. I think you know yeah. this is athletics is an absolute critical part of their education here. Um, I love the way we have so many students involved, and I certainly agree with you. I've seen a lot of fruit come from that, so I appreciate you sharing yeah. that. You know, having been here a while, um, what stands out to you about our about our program, or maybe some of the athletes? You know, <clears throat> you can speak generally speaking, if you want to. Yeah. Just, so, um, you know, what, what are you seeing as you came into Covenant? Mm -hmm. You know. So. Um, the thing that I always tell everybody that asks me, you know, from back home or new people right. that I meet, uh, what do you think about Covenant or, or right. how is it going so far? That I always tell them the first thing is the, the people, the athletes, the parents, the teachers, the staff, uh, there are just genuinely good people here. Mm -hmm. They care about these kids, they care about, uh, you know, what we're doing here. Right. And so, and they love God. And so um, I think first and foremost that like, that is the number one thing I tell people is, you know, I've been to four different schools and, you know, they've all been great, but this sure. school particularly um, just seems to, to really have just a genuine spirit about it. Um, and I think that overflows into the athletics and to the athletes. Um, and then the second, second thing is, is more uh, athletic minded, but uh, I think, and I, and I sense it, but I think that the, all the athletes kind of sense that we are so close. <laughs> to just being a top-notch level program athletically and uh, and I think they're hungry for it. Yeah. I really do, I, I you know, and I sense it and you know, I've been at several other schools and uh, this by far, you know, you just sense that there's the athletes here and the students here and the parents here, they're so ready to cross that to that next step and so uh, hopefully we can get them there and that's what that's what the plan is so that's great that's great yeah. well it just it, tell me about numbers uh, i know people people ask me all the time well how's the program doing you know because yeah. there have been times i've been at <clears throat> other schools where numbers weren't real good in terms of participation but tell me about what you've seen with numbers since you've come in in august in football yeah. and in basketball now here we are into baseball and softball season um what are we seeing yeah, so numbers are, I believe, at a all-time record high for for Covenant. I mean, we uh, it is our, our our a blessing and also one of our, our issues that we're trying to find space for. So, um, football, we we started as everyone knows by now. Um, started eleven men football in junior high level. We had thirty four football players out for the junior high, which I know is is well beyond what they expected. Uh, high school, same way, volleyball, basketball. We had eight teams for basketball this year. Um, and so overall, the numbers are very, very high as far as participation. And so that's very encouraging. And also, it, again, goes back to, you know, there's that sense of, hey, we're almost there. Let's let's cross over and let's, let's make that push and let's get there uh, to become, you know, one of the best programs in, in the area. And so numbers are very good. Uh, I don't anticipate them slowing down. I think we're going to have even more next year. Um, and so, you know, as a coach, as an athletic director, that's exciting to see because I've also been at some other schools that we struggle <laughs> with numbers. Um, and so to see that, that all the athletes are wanting to participate and they're excited to be on teams, um, it, it, you know, it's yeah. it's it's a good thing. Yeah, I agree with you. It's it's, yeah. it's exciting to see. It's the enthusiasm. It's right. Just, it's really great right now. Well, that's a great way to kind of move toward the, the end of this, and that is just tell us, this is your opportunity, tell, tell us what, what are your needs, what do you think your needs are right now, and um, you know, and let's just, just kind of talk about that. We yeah. want this program to be great, but we have needs, and we have things we've got to Absolutely. So numbers, again, biggest blessing and also our issue right now. <laughs> um, we are just running out of space. We are running out of uh, equipment. Um, we need a larger weight room. We need a larger locker room. We need... We need uh, a lot of these things to be done. Um, Equipment-wise, we, obviously we're, we're gonna need to, to add more equipment as, as the teams grow. Um, and also, I would say also parent involvement, you know, to, to get more involved. And we're in a spirit room here. Um, the Booster Club's done a great job this year. Um, they help us in so many ways that, that many of you probably don't realize. 
um, but uh, they are a huge part of the athletic program and helping us. So, um, and I know they need a lot of volunteers all the time. So, the more we grow, the more participants we have. Um, we also, you know, in order for to give them the best experience possible here, um, we really need those parents to to step up and get involved as well. And so, um, yeah, so all, all three of those facilities, equipment, sure. and and parent involvement, which is, uh, you know, that's how uh, most schools. Uh, operate and so we're excited about the participation and then uh, also the, the parent involvement. You bet. So. You bet. Well obviously that means you know obviously you guys know that we need you in a lot of different ways. Uh, this program is great. We have some incredible people here. I'm so grateful God has brought Joseph to us, Coach Garcia, uh, but we need you and I think he's made it very clear. We need you to help in whatever way you can uh, providing again looking around the spirit room Tells me some people have worked very hard to get yes. all this stuff here, and I'm really grateful to them. But uh, again, we look forward to just the, the months ahead, coach, the yeah. years ahead. I uh, look forward to just, you know, uh, having your family here. It's been great to have yeah. them around here. And so, coach, thank you for coming and being yeah. a part of our school. I really yeah. mean that. Thank you for having you know, me. You yeah. came, it was, a, it, just, it was a real God thing last summer, and yeah. so I'm really glad to have him here. So, guys, I appreciate this, this edition of Cougar Chat, and so we're almost, the school year's almost wrapped up. Uh, but I'll see you again. It's always the first Tuesday of the month. I'll see you in April. And thank you for this edition of Cooker Chat. See you soon.